What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week six of the APA. The San Francisco Giant is going up against the New York Noibats and their coach, Mewtwo Fan Nate. So we are looking forward to potentially getting back to a 500 record here. We are two and three after the heartbreaking last two losses, both of which, ah, this close. So we got to earn it back this time. We're going up against Nate. Currently, he's 0 and 5. Uh, I don't know that he necessarily deserves an 0-5, but, uh, and I'm not saying it to be mean, but I would love to make him 0-6, just because I need this win. I'm, I'm not used to being a sub-500 team. It's been a while. So, if you're curious about the team I brought, you can see it over there, and, uh, over there, and you can learn a little bit more about the thought process that went into making the team in the locker room, which is the video that went up immediately prior to this one. So we are going to get started. We're going to confirm here. I have my speed tier spreadsheet over here. I have my team builder on PokemonForever.com over here. I have my six calcs right here. Uh, we're looking good. I am nerve sighted. So we're going to hit yes. Uh, and then it's going to ask me to pick a song and, uh, hmm, hmm, should we go with Trainer version 2 this time? Let's stay humble, let's stay humble. Trainer version 2. Uh, guys, the music, the whole thing about the music is that I, I have it turned off, so it does not matter at all. That's kind of my thing. Someone asked me that once in chat, in Discord chat. All right, here we go. Okay, very cool, actually. So one of the things I was thinking is whether or not he would bring not Curum. Okay, so we are back. Uh, looking at this, I feel like a likely lead option for him is something to set up some kind of hazards. I'm going with Dragalge. The thing that's unfortunate about this is if he ends up leading with Medi, it's sort of a problem. Uh, but uh, I don't think he leads with Medi. I don't think so. I think looking at this, Rhydon... Um, Mesprit or Rabombi as the most likely leads. Uh, and so th Thick Thighs, that's gotta be the... Oh, he does end up leading uh, Medicham. Okay, let's get a count going. Okay, so uh, things I'm thinking. Don't really have a switch in here. Don't really have a switch in here. Latios probably the best bet I got. I mean, he, the thing is he could just click Ice Punch. Uh, he really could. And there's not a, a whole lot I can do about that. If he does choose to do that, uh, then he'll take out Latios. Um, but the speed control that Latios gives is a little bit less important because he didn't bring uh, any of his base 100s or... Blessephalon. So, uh, let's see. Hopefully it's like fake out. Uh, he does go for the Zen headbutt, which I resist. Perfect. 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 I mean, he's so strong. It's insane. But, uh, so now I outspeed this. Uh, I can go Draco. I can go Psyshock. Uh, looking at things, Draco is the only thing that would kill. The only thing that would kill outright. Okay, so looking at this, a Draco into a Hidden Power fighting does kill the Bisharp. So I'm going to click Draco here because, uh, I mean, the, the switch was likely. He does go Bisharp. So unless he's got the Fighting Resist Berry, I forget which, uh, the Chopple. Unless he's got Chopple, he will go down to this followed by the Hidden Power. Ooh, that is bulky actually. I still think it'll do it. Actually, that was really low. He might be AV. Yeah, that's looking like uh, max HP AV. Okay, so... Uh, I think he pursuits. This is, I mean, it's unfortunate that he's AV, but here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna Hidden Power Fighting. If he pursuits, uh, oh, he's gonna switch. So, Rabombi's gonna eat this easily, but it means I get to keep Latios for another day. Um, so, a couple of things. Well, he... The thing that makes the most sense for him to do here is if he's got Web, set him up. Uh, and so, I think I go Dragalge here. Uh, and kind of just hope he doesn't have Psychic. He might. 
Uh, he's gonna go hard moon blast, uh, and we can calc this to see uh, 171 to 110. That's a lot, uh, a lot more than I anticipated. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, I think it's just a. I th yeah, I think that's just moon blast. That's just moon blast damage. Okay, the the calcs don't look good. Even if I predict the psychic, um, I won't be able to do much. I'm gonna click toxic spikes here, hoping that he doesn't have. He's gonna hard withdraw. This is good, uh, and he goes into Bisharp. So, uh, fortunately, I get a layer toxic spikes up. It doesn't look to me like he has a defogger. I I'm assuming Rabombi doesn't learn defog. He could be, in a weird world, he could be a Scarf for Bombi because we didn't see him switch moves. I, I don't really have anything for this. He'll outspeed me. Looking at this, Surf won't do enough. Uh, obviously. I mean, he's a Salt Vest. So... I'm torn here. I don't really want to go Ditto. Uh, okay, I'm going to try something here. Uh, I'm going to T-Spike again. Uh, I think, so he's going to knock off. This probably takes me out, unless he's like really weak. I, I actually lived, which is very funny. Uh, but we'll get, we'll just drop a Draco here or something. We'll just drop a Draco. He'll probably take me out. Uh, he pursuits. Okay. 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 So here's what I'm thinking now. So dragalgy has gone. Pursuit knockoff is what we've seen. I should be taking better notes here. Uh, on the side over here, pursuit and knockoff. So probably, I'm assuming he has Iron Head. Uh, but I don't think he has much for Komo'o. So I think I can go Komo'o and set up a Dragon Dance and uh, unless he's Scarf Robombi, probably win. I I'm not sure what else he would do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a win, but getting a Dragon Dance off on this thing means I, I have a really good shot. Uh, we can close the Dragalgy Calc. Uh, and I'll just click... I'll just click Dragon Dance. He's gonna withdraw... into Mesprit. Calcing to see if uh, a plus one... Because remember, I goofed and did not make this faster than a Scarf Mesprit. So one thing to note is, will a Scarf Mesprit kill me? Dazzling Gleam will. Psychic will. Hmm. And a Z Poison Jab. And that's a... Oof. Uh, we're going to go Latios here. And he clicks Dazzling Gleam. So, uh, I think my best bet here uh, is this Draco again. I'm calculating to see uh, whether or not Mesprit will go down to a Draco. Uh, and he won't. And he won't. So, uh, I'm just going to Draco. He could stay in. He could also be Scarfed. He could also be Scarfed, uh, and I'll find out right now if he outspeeds me. Uh, he does not outspeed me, so I'll just drop a Draco. See how much this does. Uh, he's, it looks like, fully attack invested. Okay. So I noted Ice Beam. Let's see. We're gonna go Altaria, and here's here's my thinking. Here's my thinking, everyone. Here's why we're doing this. Mesprit's, he's not weak, but he's definitely not strong. 
He's weakened. Dazzling Gleam won't take me out. If he's not modest, like if he's uh, if he's timid, then yeah, we're going into this because he's got Ice Beam. We know that uh, Ice Beam won't kill me. Like it won't Oko me. I can get a Dragon Dance off. I can get a Dragon Dance off. He could be a Z move, uh, in which case this possibly was a misplay. He clicks the Ice Beam. I should live that because even a Modest won't kill me. Yep. Uh, and now I get the Dragon Dance. So now I'll outspeed him. I mean, a switch is possible. Could go into like something to tank it. Not sure what that would be. Maybe it would be the ride on. Uh, but then I just roost against it. Uh, he's actually just going to sack it. Mesper goes down. Let's click that off. Could also go like a uh, Bisharp. If he wants to play mind games, thinking that I'll think that he's going to do Sucker Punch. I'll outspeed Robombi. Thick Thighs. Uh, so he's probably got Bullet Punch. I think he's going to Bullet Punch here. Uh, I was kind of calculating what Ditto will do. Um, I'm going to go it here. It's This is risky because Ditto's a win con, but I'm like really confident that he's not going to click Zen Headbutt here. I think he's going to click Bullet Punch. Uh, and this would be nice to see what he's got. He could also just click Ice Punch, but I think he would have gone down. Uh, he's going to fake out. Uh, which is good because he's actually, uh, he just took another tick of Toxic. Fake out Ice Punch, Zen Headbutt, Bullet Punch. So he does have the Bullet Punch. So I think the Zen Headbutt is the best thing I can go for here. But I might double. Um, Zen Headbutt will take him out. But there's a really good chance he goes Bisharp. Okay, I got like a weird thought. Um, I'm gonna go, I don't think he stays in, he's, he's gotta know that Zen Headbutt would take him out, because I outspeed him, and so I'm gonna go Komo'o, predicting that Bishark comes in, uh, because he no longer has Mesprit. If he stays in and Zen Headbutt's me, that's probably good game, no, he switched, excellent, are you going Bisharp? He does go Bisharp. Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, I'm gonna DD up. Let's go, friends. He's gonna withdraw into what? Rabomb Bay. I mean, we haven't confirmed that that's not scarfed. He might... Do we really think he's scarfed? Do I really? Where's my Komo'o Calx? Do I really think he's scarfed? I mean, Moonblast just wrecks me. Because Dragalogy's gone. I got nothing to go into. I got nothing. Um, at... Plus one, uh, just a regular poison jab will do it. We just gotta hope he's not scarfed. <laughs> we just gotta hope he is scarfed. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, yeah. Good tech, good tech. Like, I could've, there's no switch for me is the problem. There was no switch there. AV Curum.
So let's do that. <laughs> That's good tech. That is really good tech. Uh, I think he clicks Moonblast again here, not realizing I'm as tanky as I am. So what's the highest damage I can do to him? That's too bad, because that was probably my best shot. Uh, but if I can get rid of this... Rabombi, you are a scarfed boy. Yeah, Moonblast won't do it. Ice Beam uh, will take him out probably after the Toxic, almost certainly. Uh, so just Ice Beam, I mean, he could go into Bisharp, but um, it's not worth me predicting that beforehand. I can just hit him with the Earth Power after. So let's Ice Beam here. He is going to withdraw into whom? Pre-Marina. Uh, let's see whether or not I think this is... Yeah, that's definitely not AV. A uh, couple of things I can do here. One, I could... What am I looking at left here? You still got Rhydon, still got Rabombi, no Mesprit. Uh, I clicked off Rabombi. I don't know why I did that. Rabombi's still around. Who did I mean to click off? Komo. -o. That's what I meant to do. Looking at what I can do here um, against the Pre Marina. I have no idea what this is, but uh, I'm at full health, and even a Specs Pre Marina won't Oko me. Um, but unfortunately, it's very specially defensive. The most I can do with an Earth Power is like 30%. Um, best I got, honestly. Hope for a special attack drop. Let's see what, or a special defense drop. Uh, I outspeed, which is cool. Two might take him out after the poison damage. I bet you he specs. Yeah, that's specs damage for sure. Uh, but I'll take him out with another one. The thing is, what this means is I can't be Scarf Ditto and expect to... I gotta think endgame here. Um, I'm outsped on a lot of things by the... I'm outsped by a lot of things by the... Um, uh, with the Altaria. I'm kind of trapped here. Um... I'm going to Earth Power. One of the things I was considering was not killing this thing. Um, because what he goes into next is going to likely be what Ditto has to copy. And if it's the wrong Mon, I can't win. Like if it's Rabombi right now, uh, then he can bullet punch me with the Metacham. And just kind of win from the... Actually, I think he can do that anyway. So what I might have to do... Let me do some calcs here. All right, so we went Rabombi. Kyurem can still outspeed the Rhydon. Altaria is just a sack because I can't do Altaria against anything. Rabombi can't win. If I'm ditto on the Rabombi, I can't win. Because if he goes Bisharp, no, not Bi Bisharp might have Bullet Punch. I don't know. We haven't seen it. Um, I don't even know if it learns Bullet Punch. But we know the Metacham has it, so I need to be able to sack something to go into ditto. Fortunately, I can still do that. So I think the move is die, ditto, kill the Rabombi, or at the very least weaken it. When he goes Bisharp or Metacham, switch out and sack, and then switch back in, and hopefully that takes me the game. That's the best shot I've got, to be perfectly honest here. That is the best shot I got. So let's stay in here and just sack. Uh, with an Ice Beam is he clicks Scarf Moonblast. So the Curum goes down.
Guys, Dragon Gym is really hard. I gotta be honest, the Psychic Gym I was able to cover a lot, um, but this one is really hard. So now I go Remix. Now, the reason I can't win outright with Remix right now is because um, there's still Steel on the board. Just lining the board, all these places, still Steel. U-Turn, Moonblast, Bug Buzz, and Psychic. He is Scarf Locked into Moonblast. And what will Moonblast do? Moonblast might kill him. I feel like he doesn't sack. But he might. I think I just Moonblast. There's no point in me sacking anything else here. I Moonblast. Sack Altaria. This is tough, but I think this is the play. Moonblast. He shouldn't be able to kill me. This might not kill him. Okay, he does Moonblast back. I think I lose. Um, Toxic takes him out, so that's Rabombi gone. But obviously he's got fake out. I, I think I needed that to kill, and so... He maybe has maybe he was timid, not modest. Uh, thick thighs. Fake out is the relatively safe and obvious play, uh, or just bullet punch outright. Uh, but we sack here. There's not really a way around this, um, because he has the bullet punch. So Strife goes down. Yeah, there's not really a way around this, unfortunately, because I have to lock into something that can win me the game, and the only thing that can do that is not a priority move, and he could just do a priority move here. So unfortunately, I am going to... I needed that Moonblast to kill, which means what would I have had to have done? Sack Altaria for a tick of poison damage, and then... Mo Nah, there was no way around it, unfortunately. Yep, this will be an L. Because he has to, he can just click, um... He can just click bullet punch. I have to not click bullet punch. Oh no, I couldn't even have clicked that. It doesn't matter. He bullet punches here for the win, I think. Because damage is damage and it wouldn't have been useful. The bullet punch takes me out! Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, the Scarf Robombi was a really good bring. Probably the most important of the attacks that he had there. Uh, because otherwise I won with the Komo'o at plus one. I outsped everything and I could have O-Code. So I think what I maybe had to do was on the Switch, instead of Dragon Dancing, I had to predict that that was... I could have scouted for it, I think. Uh, but that might not have... It's all retrospect. Right? Like, I could have scouted for it or just clicked the poison jab outright because I would have had another opportunity to sack something to the Bisharp and come back in and Dragon Dance. So it unfortunately just had a few too many answers for it. And uh, once again, the Dragon Gym letting me down. Honestly, kind of letting me down a little bit here. Other things I could have done. I don't really have answers for the, the Moon Blast. I maybe could have kept around the AV Curum and sacked the Altaria, then gone into Ditto to take out the Pre-Marina, then gone back into Curum. No, because then I still would have had the weakness to Bullet Punch. I think he, he kept the things he needed to keep, uh, and I just unfortunately didn't have much. So, great game to Mewtwo fan Nate. Good job, buddy. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to Kurt the Buzzwool who jammed my team this week. Uh, that will be all. Guys, leave some comments for me in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next week.